Hi there, in this video we're going to be doing long division. I know some people might be a bit afraid of it, but don't worry. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid. Um, it'll be okay. Part one, I love writing this on the side of my paper. I'll show you what that means in a moment. When we're looking at long division, the main difference between long division and short division is often we use long division when we're dividing it by a double digit number. So here's my question, right? I've got 451 divided by 11. This number on the right hand side, we call the divisor. I put that into the little, the little cave of my line here. Um, and then I bring the other number down and I bring that here. So I write 451 right here. The main difference between long division and short division is short division is when you normally have a one digit number. So it might look like this, 451 divided by three. Yeah, and we'd often go like this. We'd write it the same way, four, five, one. Or if three into four goes once with one remainder, three into 15 is five times, no remainder, three into one is um, zero. And then I've got some remainder, so I might you know, you could say remainder one or you could keep going and you could do decimal points and leave that for another time. Long division is when this number is a double digit number. So I've got 11 here and um, it's not so easy to count by threes. You know, to, from three to get to 15, I knew my time tables, three times five is 15. For 11 or anything that's a double di digit, it might need to know your, your time tables. Let's pretend this number is 387. Do you know your 387 time tables? I sure don't. So my first tip is write your, whoop, write your time tables on the side of your paper. So I write 11 and then I write plus 11 to get my next time table, which is 22. I go plus 11 which is 33, then plus 11, which is 44. And I go on and on and on. I would suggest to go up to about nine times. Sorry, yes. I'd go up to about nine times. I'm going to stop here at, at, at six times because I don't think we'll need to go past that for this question. Um, so now what I do is I like to circle it. So I go, that's times one. This is times two. I'm just going to skip every second 11. See how I'm leaving a gap? Times three, times four, times five, times six. So this is just to help me know my time tables. I know straight away from looking at my little cheat sheet I've just written, six times 11 is 66. Yeah, you could use this with any number. It could be a five digit number, it could be a six digit number, it could be a crazy number and it'll still work. Always my tip, tip number one. All right, tip number two. Remember how I said I was going to explain this? I would write this again on the side of my paper. So I've got division times take away and my arrow. What it just basically means is division is my first step. I need to multiply is my second step. Take away is my third step. And then bring the next number down is my fourth step. This is what it looks like. So step one, I'm just going to tick them as they go. I'm on division, so I'm going to tick my division. You don't have to do this, but this is just to get it in your head. So I've got 11 divided into 4. Uh, if I have, um, sorry, 4 divided into 11. So you be careful with what I say. If I've got 4 and I want to spread this out into 11 people, uh, I'm going to run out of fingers very quickly and I'm not going to get enough fingers to give to everyone, my good cannibal friends. So uh, my answer is zero. I can't give 11 out. Sorry, I can't give four out to 11 people. So now I do my time step. I'm doing times right now. 11 times the number I just worked out, which was zero. So 11 times zero is, is, is zero. Now I'm doing my subtraction step. I put in my little line here to say I'm going to now subtract it. For takeaway zero is four. Last step is bring the arrow down. So this number that's next door, yeah, I've just finished my four. I'm now going to bring it down and write the number there. So I've now got 45 instead of four. Now I start it again. I'm going to just rub these out. 
and start again. I'm going to do division. 11 into 45. It's 11 into 45. I can look at my cheat sheet if I don't know how to count by 11s and say, look, I already know that it goes into 44 four times, right? So I'm going to write it goes in 45 four times. Now I'm going to do multiplication. I'm going to go, well, 11 times 4 is 44. Now I'm going to do my subtraction step, and that is put in this little line here, and I'm now going to work out my remainder. This is how you work out the remainder, the subtraction. So 45 take away 44 is 1. And now I do the arrow step, and I bring down the next number. Whew. Starting at 11 into 11 is 1. This is division. And then 11 times 1, my multiplication step, so 11 times this number up here is 11. Yeah, 11 times 1 is 11. Now I do the subtraction step, and I've got it all equals 0. And now I've got the arrow step, and I'm going to bring this number down. Is there any number here? No, there isn't. So I can just leave it blank. Yeah, or it could write 0, and there's no remainder, right? So... Uh, I am finished. My answer is 41. Yeah? That is how we do long division. It's actually not super difficult, thankfully. Question, it's just time consuming and you can make a lot of mistakes. That's why we want to practice it, practice it, practice it. Question, oh, sorry, step number two. Um, as I said earlier, I think it's always a good idea to write your time tables on the side. So we've got 22 into 506, so I put 22 first. So I'm going to count by 22s. I don't know my 22 times tables, so either you can just do it in your head and go, all right, well, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, so it's 44. Then plus another 2 onto 4 is 6, and plus another 2 onto 4 is 6, and you can go on like that. Or as I said before, remember, you could just go plus 22 equals, so 6 plus 2 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, and then go plus 22. And then just remember to circle the ones that are important, okay? Um, I'm going to pause it now. I'm going to write them down, okay? Uh, now I'm just going to go remember. I've got this is times 1, this is times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, times 6, times 7, and times 8. Maybe I'll do one more for good measure. So this would be times 9, so 176 plus 22 would be 198. I'm just plusing 2, plusing 2. Okay, so I've got my time tables here. Up to 9 times would be the most I'll ever need. 22 into 5 is 0. Uh, don't forget to write this on the side of your paper to help you remember what your steps are. Now, um, remember we go times. 22 times 0 is 0. It gives us five remainder. Bring my arrow down. I've got 50. I've already finished these steps. I've already finished them. Now I've got to start them again, division. So 50, does 22 go into 50? Um, it goes into 66. Um, so that's my next one that it, it, it works. So I will write, it goes in three times, yeah? And, oh, what am I doing? Mr. Goffine, naughty. It doesn't go in three times, sorry. It goes in twice. It goes into 44. Yeah, it it, um, it, it couldn't reach 66, so that's too much. Um, so it goes in two times. So now times, 22 times 2 is 44, which you can see right here, right? Now do subtraction step, and that gives me, um, well, look, it gives me 6, but if you don't believe me, this is how we could do it. We could go 0 to 84, can't do. So I go to the next door neighbor, cross out the 5, that becomes a 4, which means 0 becomes 10. So I got 10 take away 4 is 6. 4 take away 4 is 0, yeah? Now I bring down the next number, and it's 66. So I start my steps again, 22 divided by 66, and we can see that was right there, th uh, 3. I don't know why this is not working anymore. And then how many times is 22 times 3? It's 66. It says it right there. So I work out the remainder, and it's 0. And there's no numbers to bring down. So I can just leave it, and that's my answer. It equals 23.